Water must not be seen independently of the environment and the people who use it for power generation, for industrial purposes, for irrigation and for drinking water. We have to acknowledge that there are competing interests. Therefore, the concept of Integrated Water Resources Management, IWRM, is the approach to be taken. The use of the water resources for sustainable development needs to be seen in the context of social, economic and environmental conditions. Central Asia's recent history, as well as economic growth of the last few years, led to growing conflicts of interest between the different water users. The Toktagul Dam and Reservoir in Kyrgyzstan is a prominent example of these competing interests. In Soviet times, the downstream countries, Uzbekistan and Kazakhstan, could rely on the Toktagul water supply for their agriculture, particularly cotton growing. In the spring and summer growing season, the dam opened up and let through sufficient amounts of water to irrigate the fields. Today, Kyrgyzstan must release its water in winter to power its turbines. This competition for water resources causes tensions between upstream and downstream countries and different interest groups. In the Kyrgyz mountains, nomads remain faithful to their way of life. They live on what nature has to offer and they take only what they need. Animal breeders depend on supply with fresh water. In these communities, managing water resources is a logical and intuitively appealing concept. But with massive social and economic changes, this intuitive approach to water usage disappears. In the mountains above Lake Isikul, the Kumto gold mine is located at 4,000 metres. Kumto is one of the world's most productive gold mines. In addition to the huge water resources, it is the economic backbone of Kyrgyzstan. Industrial processes need water. Every branch of industry needs a reliable water supply. Without water from the nearby glaciers, gold mining at Kumto would be impossible. Cyanide, a toxic and water-soluble salt, plays an important role in the process of separating gold from the crushed ore. After being processed, the remaining residues, containing huge amounts of toxic cyanide, are pumped into numerous tailings on the mine site. Experts fear that protective embankments may break, flooding the mine. This could cause economic and ecological damage to all the people who depend on the water coming down from the high mountains. The farmers in the mountains have been living along the riverbanks for centuries. Water is the foundation of their existence. In the remote, arid mountainous regions of Central Asia, people have adapted to harsh conditions. For example, in the Tajik village of Dashti Obodan. Situated high above steep banks of the Dzerafshan River, Dashti Obodan makes its living by agriculture. Even the smallest piece of land has been transformed into a fertile oasis. Canals and pipelines run through the village they bring water to every house. The sophisticated distribution system is centuries old, simple yet reliable. The farmers know how to deal with the precious water. Balancing of interests and sustainability are crucial for this community's well-being. Also in desert regions, different forms of water usage are closely interlinked. People such as the inhabitants of the Mari Oasis in the east of Turkmenistan know that. They try to find a balance between many different interests of water usage. 
for agriculture and drinking water supply, for the environment, for the industrial processes and energy generation. Based on this holistic approach, the concept of Integrated Water Resources Management, IWRM, was developed in the 90s. Integrated Water Resources Management is a systematic process for the sustainable development, allocation and monitoring of water resources use in the context of social, economic and environmental objectives. Furthermore, IWRM should include the right to participate in decision-making processes. Consumers and planners, as well as politicians, should be involved at all levels. It is a matter of priorities and balancing the competing interests. The aim of this internationally accepted concept is to maximise economic and social benefits 